and welcome back to my channel. Today, if you can't tell by the title of this video, we are talking about Poshmark. I have actually personally never ordered anything from them before. This is my first experience and I ordered three things. Um, technically, it should have been just two orders, but I didn't realize that um, the same person was I was buying two items from the same person, but you know, it happens, right? But I had a great experience, which I'll go into later that relates to that. Um, but we can start with the good or the bad. I'm not here to say anything negative about anyone. I don't like to perpetuate negativity. However, I do like to be honest and as raw as I can with you. So um, the first purchase I bought um, was a Gymshark item, of course. Uh, basically, I'll give you a little rundown. Actually, let's, let's start over. When you sign up for Poshmark, you put in your measurements and your sizes, so it really only shows you what is available in your size. To start off, you can search up any kind of brand that you like, and then I guess they tag it. I looked up Gymshark, Alphaly, uh, Navigation, you know, some things that I'm very interested in and I would get a lot of use out of. I do support, you know, reusable clothing because, you know, it helps the environment, it's a little easier on your pocket. There's multiple reasons why you should maybe give it a shot. And I find that like thrift store shopping has become a lot more mainstream lately within the last couple of years, so that's kind of nice. So basically, I bought a Gymshark legging. It is the Energy Seamless with the matching energy seamless top well i guess it's not seamless because it's a it's a sports bra <laughs> but yeah so i bought a matching set from a lovely posh er what would you call them named chloe she was really really sweet i 10 out of 10 recommend her because she noticed that i had bought two items that she had you know, advertised separately and she actually messaged me on Instagram seeing if I could combine them on my end so I didn't have to pay double shipping, which was super, super considerate of her. She didn't have to do that at all. Unfortunately, I, since I'm new, I really didn't know how to do that. Uh, I tried to figure it out, but I was unsuccessful. Anyways, she was very, very sweet. So we'll start with that experience first because that was very positive. They're in very good condition. I can't even believe she's ever worn them. So inside the package, she actually left me a little letter here and it says, thank you. Not every Poshmark seller will probably do this, but I mean, she's very, very kind. Uh, it says, dear Ashley, I am so excited that you found some items in my closet that you liked. Enjoy, Chloe. So nice, like, so this is the Energy Seamless purple sports bra. I don't see them anywhere to be honest. I don't know if this is like an older collection, but I love this color. It's very pretty. This is a size medium, which I'm kind of like in between now. So these are the Energy Seamless leggings. They kind of look like they would be a bit of a crop, but I will put a video here. <laughs> Yeah, but they seem very highly compressive around the waist. Of course, it's Gymshark, so the quality is always really good. Um, has really nice detailing along the um, ankle of the legging. It's kind of like this. Like this. As far as I know, they still have the Energy Seamless collection, uh, just not in this color. So if you want an idea, online, I think these leggings, they go for around like 70 to 80 dollars i think um and then when i purchased them i think they were 50 dollars and the sports bra was 35 with taxes and shipping and everything included i paid 120 dollars for this taxes shipping item everything and on gymshark itself it's like i don't even know i don't know but so if you're looking for very rare collections, so like the Whitney Sitman's collection I saw a couple pieces on Poshmark there, there's like a second chance. It's like you can have that option to purchase it. Someone's worn it a couple times and they didn't find use out of it, they didn't like the color on them. They sell it on Poshmark or another kind of uh, third party selling site and you get to have what you've always wanted. A word of advice. Um, definitely go through the package first, 
you know, inspect it, make sure it's exactly how it was described, make sure it fits everything, and then, you know, accept it or something. Because you can't dispute anything if you've accepted it, right? You have to take ownership and responsibility, but it is a learning experience for myself. So if I could prevent you from making the same mistakes, that's okay. This person was actually super nice as well. The only thing is, and I'll put it here, is on the listing, they said that this um, item was authentic. And I was like, wow, that's like a really good piece. It is supposed to be from 2011. It was from one of Givenchy's, um, you know, collections back then. Like it's, it's it, I would say it's kind of vintage, right? I don't know. So when I received it, I was a little bit disappointed because I, you know, I had looked up like the differences between a fake and a real one and it seemed to be right on point. I even asked, he said it was authentic. Um, but this, it's, it would, to me, it's impossible. It, it just doesn't make sense. Don't get me wrong. I'm still going to wear it. I'm just obviously not going to advertise or not that I normally would anyway, but I'm just not going to say that it is authentic because I don't want to, you know, give that impression. If you look up any fake versus um, authentic Givenchy Rottweiler sweater or t-shirt, it can be a bit obvious, but on the picture, I thought it was good. So here is the sweater. Still really cool, gonna wear it for sure. To me, this isn't like Givenchy like quality. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they're very attention to detail. Like I've looked at their stuff before. I have a couple um, like higher end items and they are very very good quality um also Rottweiler. i don't know if you can tell on camera but it's it's kind of blurry like it's uh very pixelated i don't know i don't know like yeah and the and the logo is is not the same it is what it is i'm sure i could have gotten it a lot cheaper if i knew it was unauthentic on unauthentic not authentic but i'm still happy with it I'll still wear it.